I decided on the iron trim as opposed to the T trim to finish off the furniture in my campervan conversion. Obviously it comes down to personal preference, but for me it was a case of being able to cut the furniture board to a size and not having to compensate to add the trim thickness, but also because it's relatively easier to put on. That said, it did take quite a few goes to get the finish I wanted with it. So this video is just to share the process and some of the things to watch out for. This is an offcut of the Moreland furniture board. It's laminated on both sides and I've cut it with a jigsaw. As you can see, there's plenty of fibres sticking up. So the first job is to prepare it so that the glue can have the best chance of sticking. I always cut the trim a bit longer than needed as it seems to give a much better finish on the corners. The trim was just as easy to use on rounded corners as it was on the straight edges. I've only got access to a steam iron but you need to turn the steam iron function off because you just need a hot iron for this next part of the process. I discovered by accident that by cleaning the surface with a wet cloth and then steaming off all the water meant that all the fibres were flat and you got a really good surface for the glue to adhere to. As the glue heats up it becomes liquid so you just need to be careful that the trim stays aligned with your piece of wood. I found it best to go nice and steady so that the glue could get into the grain of the wood. After about three runs I tilted the iron at an angle so that I could give a crease along all the edges of the furniture board. This meant the trim was bonded right up to the edge of the laminate. Ironing the wood before applying the trim and ironing the edges of the trim meant that I started to get consistent results. To trim the edging I just started off with this paint scraper with a razor blade but it just tended to chip the trim. I then tried this dedicated Stanley tool which is supposed to do both edges at the same time but I just couldn't get it to work and it was all over the place. I eventually found this trim tool from Germany, which is just a piece of steel, but the results are consistent every time, it's superb. To trim the edges, first job is to cut off the excess at either end. It's worth mentioning that once the glue's gone off, the trim is actually quite brittle, so you do need to take a bit of care at this point. Then it's just a case of keeping the trimmer flat against the surface of the furniture board and pushing it along in the direction of the arrow. Turn the board over and then repeat. Then to finish off, it's just a case of sanding off any excess on the edges. Because the edges have been ironed at an angle, you'll find some of the glue is squeezed out and it's just a case of scraping it off or using isopropyl alcohol to clean it. It's all good.